where I did a transposition. To my left is the actual Luxor. I floated in the light when it illuminated at night. Over here, I walked through a fan, an air-conditioned fan. And to my right is where I do believe 10 times a week, 46 weeks a year, for the next 10 years. With all the different demonstrations that I've been successful in doing, the one I wanted to do for you today is a demonstration that brings me back, way back to my roots, to what I used to do on the streets of New York when I had no money, when I just used the area around me to create a miracle, and that's what I plan on doing for you right now. I want everybody here right now to verify that there is no crane over here, no helicopter, no device that could keep me suspended in midair. Is that true? Okay, good. I'm just going to use the bare essentials. The ground, I tied some ropes, and I'm going to need a box. As a matter of fact, John and Doug, can you grab just a, a box from over there, please? The big box actually has the garbage in there. Take that out. The, go that, the big one. Yes. No. The no, grab the one because that's going to collapse. The other one looks like it's a little sturdier. Bring that over here. I want to show everybody that you can see completely through this box. As a matter of fact, let's lift this up and show that right now. You can see completely through that. Is that fair? Good. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to bring that over there and... John, I want you to tie, we have, uh, just use this right over here. We're gonna take the two ropes, we're gonna put them through, there's a hole over here. This is perfect. I'm gonna anchor it with this piece of wood right over here, and you get a shot of that, Mike. I want everybody to see that there's no, nothing going on here. Just gonna anchor that in just like that. As a matter of fact, you got a 360 degree shot. I want you to, uh, let's see, this woman with the glasses, come over here for a second. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, okay. Well, thank you. Look, I want you to see. Is there anything weird going on? As a matter of fact, bring the camera over here, Mike. Let her, let her look at it. It's just a cardboard box. We tied some rope on. Is that true? Yes, it's very true. Okay, now look at all the stuff. Okay. I got to touch you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so check it out now. One continuous shot. You'll see it as it unfolds, moment by moment. John, Doug, I'm gonna ask you to let me use your shoulder. I'm gonna get in this thing. Fair? Everything fair so far? Now check it out. Nothing above me. Nothing above me. Now watch. See that? Nothing above me. And. Underneath, they were throwing rocks. It was crazy to watch him get in this box and levitate just like he did on TV. It was just a miracle, and I believe it. He's he's for real. Chris Angel rules. We are here at McGee's Ski Bike and Board to get a bunch of apparel for our mammoth trip. Come on, Sandra. Let's go, sweetie. Oh, you know what, Sandra, this seriously is good. This is black, your color? It's too long. Huh? It's too it's long. Too negative. I'm short. It won't work. No, you put a nice pair of really tall, high heels. No. It's not, I, I really, can you please just try it? No, thank you. Come on, it's also on sale. No. Come on. It's not gonna work. It's a quick way to shop. Yes, it is. You I'll like take pink this too? one. All right, we're off to Mammoth. Women. Coming up, Chris battles hypothermia. 
to prepare for his most dangerous escape yet. This is it. This is the last time we're going to see you. Right there. Are you ready? I'm here at McGee's Ski and Bike in Las Vegas where I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff for our mammoth trip. Unfortunately, my girlfriend is being very indecisive, so I just let her be. And I'm over here hanging with some customers, some of the staff. They asked me to do a little demonstration. I'm always prepared, but first let me meet you. Travis. Travis, pleasure to meet you. Marie. Marie. I want you to see before we even begin that I have a deck of cards, a regular deck of cards, not a trick deck of cards. I don't use trick decks, folks. All right, fair? What I'm going to do, Travis, I'm going to run through the deck. I'm going to ask you to touch the top of one card for me. Take it out. Don't let me know what it is. Show it to everybody. I'll look away. Show it to the camera so everybody at home can see that card. When you've done that, let me know. All right. Place it anywhere you like in the deck, except right. there. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. It's fine. That's good. <laughs> Now, you'd all agree that Travis's card is mixed somewhere in the deck. Is that true? Yes. Yet I'm going to try to find it in the most insane way. It requires a ski pole. So, Marie, I'm going to ask you to grab any ski pole you'd like, any one at all. Just one, except that one. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. It's okay. I'm just teasing you. All right, perfect. We got the ski pole. We got the deck of cards. Somehow they're going to connect. What I'm going to do first, though, Marie, would you hold that for a second? I'm going to take the deck, I'm going to keep them face down, and I'm going to spread them right up my arm, just like this. And if you notice, everybody, that the deck is face down. Marie, I'll grab that for a second. What is uh, the card that you selected? King of Diamonds. Check this out. Watch. Right there. Now watch. Watch. What was your card? What King was your card? The King of Diamonds? Yeah. The King of Diamonds of diamonds, oh right there. Oh King God. of diamonds. It was amazing when he just did that and, you know, just threw the car in the air and the car was on there and it was beautiful. Like, all the cards threw up in the air and you're like, what's going on? And then, bam, he just grabs it and there it is. You have to see Chris perform. It's crazy. It's wow. You got to see it. It's ballistics. It's time to trade in my bicycle for my rolls. We're off to Mammoth. What are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, come on, man. <laughs> Now you've inspired me. Watch, watch, watch. It's coming for you, Sandra. It's gonna come for you, watch. What? Come on! What? Come on! I'm out of here! Cut this out! To prepare myself for the white death escape, I had to train my body to deal with the extreme conditions. Being six feet under the earth in snow is extremely cold. So there are a lot of things we can do to help Chris uh, deal with this harsh environment. You know, one thing is to just Put him in, in a cold, you know, we're in Las Vegas, so we're going to have to be creative. First and foremost, I had to get used to the below freezing temperatures and the very real risk of hypothermia. Hypothermia sets in if your core body temperature, which is normally at 98.6, drops three and a half degrees to 95, which could happen to me literally in just a few minutes. Within two minutes, he could begin to infect him. People become disoriented. The logic is right out the window. You begin to lose control and function of your, your motor skills. But even if I manage to avoid hypothermia, 
I still have to pick my handcuff locks. I, I don't know how he's going to attempt to try to get out of his handcuffs, because when your hands are cold and freezing, if he drops 